is Jeff Curran of the D's on a Brady Pretzloff of Gaylord, who's committed to the University of Minnesota. Yep. Big win here at home versus Marquette tonight. So, you know, let's talk about here coming out on Saturday, 6 o'clock, Beller game. You know, how did you guys prepare for this week? Yeah, we just came with a bunch of intensity, focused on the small stuff, because a lot of that hurt us against Kingsley last week. So, being able to clean that up and come right back out, that was huge for us. This is a big win for momentum, and we're just going to keep working, and that's how we built this program, and that's how we're going to keep it going. 3 0, I know, in the year for you guys. I also have 3 0 in the Beller game. So, yep. you know, uh, let's talk about this team this year. You know, we have some key guys for you, and, you know, what's the chemistry like, and, you know, what have you guys been working for as seniors? Yeah. yeah. The chemistry's been very good. You know, we've been playing together since we were in middle school, and, you know, this is the year we've all been working for. Guys have been showing up in the mornings all the way since December. So, you know, to finally have that payoff, that's huge for us. And, like I said, we're just going to keep going at one game at a time and just take it as far as we can. What is Minnesota having you coming in? Come in as middle or, middle or outside? Yeah, they're looking at me more for a, a middle backer. Coach Rossi uh, is kind of looking at me for that. I'll obviously show up and they'll, they'll bulk me up some, and then he, he thinks I fit more naturally with that role. But I'll play anywhere he wants me to play to get on the field. It doesn't matter to me what uh, backer I play. And you, you lined up at wide receiver, caught that acrobatic catch yeah. for the touchdown. You know, we're going, we're going through your mind in a play like that, you know, and, uh, you know, big, pretty big play in the game for you guys. Yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, I just know know my route, and then I just focus on the small things. And then at that point, when I see the ball in the air, my I just try and go get it. It's that simple, really, you know. And it's something I've been able to do, and we've worked it more into our playbook. And I just want, uh, try to make plays for our team whenever I can, and that just happened to be one of them. Talk about Riley Hush for you guys: three block punts, one for a touchdown, one for a safety, and also a pick six to get you guys going. You know what? What's it like playing with him? Oh, Riley's a great athlete, great leader. He's been one of the guys that's been working forever now. He was up on varsity with me as a, uh, a freshman. And any coach watching this, take a look at Riley. He's a, he's a really good linebacker, great instincts, very athletic and strong. He's just a great uh, a great linebacker to be there with. And I know you're committed to Minnesota, so you know, let's talk about that decision. Why did you commit to Minnesota? Yeah, to be honest with you, it was the culture, the first thing that stood out to me when I took my visit. Just seeing everyone come together and work as a family. and uh, I love the coaches, Coach Fleck, Coach Ross. See, we've, we've had a great relationship, and I love how they develop linebackers too. We've seen it with uh, Mariano Sorimarin. He's coming back to coach, which is great to see, and that says a lot about the culture, in my opinion. So those are the main reasons why. And uh, who are you close with in the class, and who, who are some other guys you're trying to get down? Anyone from Michigan too, or no? Uh, most of the Michigan guys that I'm close with, like A.J. Dennis, are already committed elsewhere. So uh, obviously I'd love to have some of those Michigan guys come out there with me and maybe make some of a pipeline out to Minnesota. But some of the guys I'm close with, obviously Mason Carrier, the other linebacker commit, we, we talk on a regular basis. Riley Sunrum, big D lineman from North Dakota. Those are some guys. And our class is close already. Uh, just like, that, like I said, they have that family uh, kind of connectiveness there, and, yeah. and we're carrying that on. All right, great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.